Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Between Empires mod. Last time around, I said that I would try and siege the town, the Dutch town. However, since then, or actually during the siege, the Queen, Wilhelmina I think, or something like that. Um, anyway, she managed to escape my captivity without me noticing. She went away, she gathered her army, and she brought with her her 400-man army against my 100 and whatever I had left to siege the town with. No way I could hold it. I retreated to Oldenburg, and she followed me. So currently, we are being besieged there. I have 256 troops against their 436. This, as it is a siege, has a high probability of crashing. I don't know how... This is going to work out. It's probably not, but uh, we'll try anyways. So, let's join in the battle, shall we? I think first things first, and that is to tell the cannons to fire gas. And then, for the second part, I want my machine gunners as far up here as possible ready to pour down machine gun fire on the enemy. Okay, I want you guys up here. And then I think we should probably withdraw as many of the infantry units here as possible. I think it's only light infantry that sets up on the flank. Oh shit. I, I've said so many times that I should switch out the buttons so I can do a spin back and forth, like I can press Q and spin the other way. But as this crashes so many times, and every time it crashes it resets, so it's not going super well. So, oh yes, someone had a question about the troops, so you can obviously click dig in. We also have this position at will whether or not the troops, you know, how they respond to this. You can set it at, at this current state, as it is always set to start with. The troops will take the position at will, but you can also tell them to always crouch. And then you can all also tell them to always lay down. Now, I think this, because it's a siege, they're not really responding to this. But otherwise, I think they should. And that's about that. Not a lot of going on here, actually. And I'm a little bit worried it's dragging out too much. Oh, the first regiment is the one that's back here, yeah. So first, second, and then third is set up here, and then fourth, then light is set up along this route. So we're gathering troops here, we're gonna move them out, and we're gonna see about moving them into the attack. Now, obviously, an artillery shell landing among this is not gonna be great. So we want to move them out as soon as possible. So we got three regiments moving through here. New enemies have arrived. That's good. That's what I want to see. Uh, I wish that would happen in the normal battles as well. I know that was a feature of the, the first part, or the earlier part that I played. But it seems not to be the case in this one because I've had the problem of, you know, having to replay the same battle over and over again. But I would rather just have the enemy spawn in waves to attack me. So we've got three waves of troops, we've got machine guns set up here, perfectly fine to pepper the enemy. Let's see, can we fire gas again? I think we just did. Great. Right. 
Let's advance on the enemy then. Should put some points in uh, what's it called? Athletics. Just so I can run really fast everywhere. My troops advancing. I'll actually order them already to just charge overhead into the enemy. They will try. Oh, they've already lost a hundred dead. Eleven wounded. New enemies have arrived. They have another 70 men ready. That's actually not very good. A lot of my troops to set up. We will dig in. Oh, they're tired now from having moved. The center one should be ready to dig. Right, so what we could see from that battle was that it didn't work, it crashed. I was able to shoot down a hundred of their troops before the battle crashed, but there would be 300 more. I mean, I, I definitely could have done it, but the game crashed, unfortunately. So, my newest plan to actually do something, um, or like switch it up a little bit, start as you know, gaining something um, so that I can move on to maybe more interesting enemies here and there um, is I'm thinking I can assemble the army suddenly I have, you know I've just as many troops as she's got but what if instead of choosing to lead the battles myself I let this sort of outro assault system kind of work and that way, I'm able to whittle down the defenders to a point where I can play just that little pushover at the end. Bob's your uncle, we've taken the town. Who knows if that's going to work, we're going to try it out. Pritvitz, I, uh, we start a new campaign, assemble the army. Yes, everyone must gather right here. So we'll set up the forces right here. We're right over there. We'll smack that Dutch um, woman down and we'll claim victory, hopefully. That's the plan anyways. So far, not a lot of my plans have been working. But this one certainly will. And there we go. We have assembled enough armies. Or enough um, different companies. Everyone kind of looks the same, don't they? That was Pritwitz we spoke to earlier. What's this? Russian Empire declared war in Afghanistan. Who gives a sh crap? Rich Hawthorne. Right, right. Let's move then, gentlemen. Let's see if this works or falls apart. By the looks of it, what is... There's quite a few smaller armies. Maybe we'll lose... Wait, he didn't join? The Kaiser ordered you to join the army. Looks like we have similar numbers to what uh, Wilhelmina brought because I have three with a hundred and then three with less than a hundred so let's say that we have close to 500 men I'd say that should be plenty enough the thing though is out resolving on the field of battle might be a very different thing to out resolving against the town. So there is there might the problem lie. We've got 85. I think I'm gonna go ahead and save before we attack. And then we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it will work. As we can see now, with the plenty of troops around there, the enemy does not dare to come close. Which, in, sen in a sense, achieves... Oh, tension between Denmark. 
Haven't I teach those Danish already? Well, they think they can go ahead and come back. I thought last time we fought them, we beat them enough so that we didn't have to see them ever again. Well, what I was thinking is, as my siege is now uh, saved, I could go ahead, or like, protected with all these troops around, I could go ahead and do the smaller battles that I retreat from, slowly whittling down the defenders, and if necessary I can call upon the troops around so I think we might have a good chance here if I play it correctly to actually take the town so we can lead the troops in our assault or we can order them I'm gonna order the first attack and I'll stay back we'll see how much damage we'll do so for this first attack we lost 20 men the enemy lost or would killed 20, 27 in total. The enemy lost 12. Now they have 85. I have 500. This should work. 12. We'll do it again. We lost 16. They lost 11. Certainly, the numbers aren't actually that bad. Order again. This time we lost 9. They lost 15. Clearly, it's switching here. Now they are losing more than us. Order again. 18, 10. I haven't completely checked how many they have lost. Which I probably should do, just in case I want to kind of do the last attack. We'll order once more. 8, 9. You call out the commander. Your situation is hopeless. We are ready to leave the castle to you and march away if you give us the word of honor, let us on a soul. Unacceptable, I want prisoners. You have my word. You will not come under attack if you leave the castle. The, my plan is working. My plan is working. Unfortunately for him, my subscribers want to see blood. Unacceptable, I want prisoners. Right. That should mean that we have whittled them down to the point where I can lead my men in an assault and hopefully it doesn't crash. It might crash, so we're going to have to be very brutal in our attack. With that said, let's lead our troops in the assault. Right. Um, I'm going to tell everyone to charge. And then I'm going to set up the artillery as soon as possible. Get the machine gunners up there. And everyone else have been ordered to charge. Let's see, how many defenders are left? 37 against my... Uh, most, of, most of the troops aren't actually mine. Only 8 men are mine. Would you look at that? I want to join in the assault. I want to join in the assault. Come on, let's let me have this victory now. So there's only 35 left. One is already routed. Two dead, one wounded. My troops charge forth. Machine gunners. Don't really fire, do they? move them into a better spot. They might go ahead and put down some suppressive fire on the enemy. My troops stream forwards towards the tower. Machine gunners are now opening up fire on towards the town. What I've been thinking actually is I should run a clock on like how long it takes for it to crash roughly just so I know Kind of like I run a clock as soon as the battle starts. And I kind of know, okay, it's going to crash. Okay, so we've got what looks like a machine gun covering their left side. So if we're going to go in, we should go in on the right. I should be the one to clear out a few spots here. Who is this? 
Otto Richthofen. I thought it was one of my guys that had a pistol. But obviously I didn't give a pistol to any of my men. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, I actually hit the bastard. Okay, I don't like the fact that I'm getting hit here. Who's shooting me? Guys, continue the attack. Get in there. Charge in the fort. The machine gunners are peppering this guy. Guys, we need to get in. I think I need to order these guys so we can slip in through here. And the cavalry. Everyone's also kind of tired at this point. Time to hit them with the gas. Okay, is that what we're worried about? The enemy machine gunner? Where is the enemy machine gunner? Do they have one? I'm not sure. We just gassed the entire place. There seems to be machine gun fire coming here, so they definitely have a machine gun along the wall there somewhere, don't they? Somewhere. Where, are, where is your machine gun? Oh, my machine guns dealing loads of damage to the enemy right there. I'm ordering my troops forward. Wait, did I heal myself? I'm pretty sure I got hit multiple times. Alright, charge, 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 charge. That one is definitely one of mine. Only my guys have great points. What are the machine guns starting to fire at? Maybe I should move into my own machine guns. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. I wish I had an even more accurate machine gun. I mean, not machine gun. I wonder if there's a submachine gun. Like, can I get the MP-18? Yeah, sure, just stand there. This is pretty good, though. I should be taking bigger part in the battle just because I need the experience points. This siege is dragging on. I'm more and more worried that the game will crash. The thing, though, this result is quite easy to replicate. And I should be able to, uh, you know, we should be able to conquer the entirety. The entirety. There isn't a lot in terms of, you know, it's the Dutch we're talking about. There isn't a lot of them. But, um, oh shit! That in slow mo, that bloody machine, that bloody artillery shell came at me. It seems as though, doesn't it seem as though my guy is self-healing? I don't know how that works. Doing a 90 no-scope didn't work on this guy. I wonder if it's just that I need to get better at rifle. Or if they're really this like shit. We are victorious. We are victorious. I want to kind of stab these guys, but pull down that flag. The town is secured. I am victorious. My plan worked. Yes. So, in my attack, I lost one kill, three wounded, two routed, and my allies managed to lose 70 men. Most of which were routed, in fact. So that's not too bad. They can come back and fight again. And 25 wounded, 14 killed. The enemy, a little bit worse. Most of them were killed. 
could have been due to the fact that the wounded, having been left in place, um, came under my gas attack and died subsequently from uh, inhaling the gas. Not great. Not great, but that's war for you. This means that I have taken my first castle. And, as a very gracious leader, you know, I only hold six towns, 24 castles, and 66 villages. I'm gonna give this to... Who am I gonna give it to? I kind of want to give it to myself. But then again, maybe that's not great. So, there's a lot of Maximilian von Prittwitz. Which one was it? That I talked to the first time. Wait. Maximilian von Prittwitz. Here. And then if we scroll down. Maximilian von Prittwitz. Here. Maximilian von, von Richthofen. Okay, so that's not a Prittwitz. But here's another one. So there's three guys called... Maximilian von Prittwitz. Let's just take the first one. He'll gain the town. And... We'll hold on to it quite a while. Everyone becomes unhappy because they didn't get anything. W don't worry, guys. We're going to split up the Dutch Empire in between you guys. The problem here, I think, with giving him an area is that they will revert to the old style of just, like, protecting their own area. One of the things... That he changed in the mod was the way the AI worked. Is that as we've seen here, the enemy AI actually can sets up armies, attacks. So they don't do they don't do the feasts, they don't protect their own areas, they don't go ahead and raid small villages. So it's kind of focused in on these attacks. I wonder if me giving an area to him will break this. And he will now kind of just run around in this area. It'll be a test for all of us. And we'll see if this works. If this doesn't work and he becomes obsessed with this one place. Then um, I might just go ahead and give everything else that we capture to myself. Such a gracious lord I am. Anyways. Um, 93 men so i didn't lose that many you have points to spend but i think it's just that extra point that i really want to be spending on i'm not sure i want what i want what i want to spend that on didn't gain that much experience for my men but then again not a lot of them died so i guess not a lot of them took part in this um the garrison is 42 we're gonna have to defend this area for a while later on we'll move over to the next area and the next area and the next area and so on and we'll try to wipe out the Dutch as much as possible or at least cut them down severely to the point where they will sue for peace but for now we'll just go ahead and defend this for a while as it builds up um, the troop numbers would you look at that? Denmark has declared war on the German Empire. The little country wants to become even smaller. Now when I actually figured out how to take towns, everyone will rue the day they came against the German Empire. The Queen is back and she's determined to siege this town. Or wait, where did she go? She's over here. They're trying to attack it, but they can only get so close. I wonder, you know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? I'll disband the campaign. All the generals will now go in their own direction. They will go and seek out battle with our enemies. And uh, they'll chase them down. And I'll come in and join them in the different... Yes, end the campaign. No longer need our forces here. Let's see how this works. So now everyone... We'll start to chase the different generals. I 
think we're going after this one. Oh, they might be drawn into a battle. No. They might be. No, they're doing the same speed. Anyways, they've. This guy might actually. Yes, they managed to get in contact with this one. You know what? While they fight there, I can go ahead and chase down the queen. You know what? I should join her just cause. But as soon as possible, I'll move in on her. I'll order my troops to join in the battle. I have no interest in fighting it. Five troops. We destroyed them. He was captured. That's good. We even got a standard out of that. Troops ready to upgrade. I think I lost a machine gunner. I lost a machine gunner and one of the heavy artillery. So we're just going to go into Oldenburg and buy some new ones. New machine gunner, new heavy operator. I want day Dawn. Here we go. You have plenty more troops than me, Wilhelmina. Stand and fight. I am gaining on her. I'm just going to go ahead and save before I manage to track her down and fight her. Unfortunately, dear viewer, this is after three attempts of doing this battle and all three attempts crashed. One came after even a computer restart. I thought that would help, but it seemed that that didn't help at all. And almost felt as though that one crashed quicker. So, it is a problem when the enemy is on the defensive that the battles tend to crash, not entirely sure why. Same, I mean, there's so many crashes right now that... I'm trying to find a diverse way to show different things because right now it seems like there's there's just a handful of different ways we can do it. Not right now I can only think of two, which is the battle when they come head on. It's a single army versus a single army. Uh, they march up, they get mo mowed down, and then I attack forward, or what we just did with this town where I'm able to attack at the very end and um, go ahead and just slaughter the last bit of the defenders. So I mean we were definitely able to get a new angle of the mod in this video but I'm running out of ideas of getting new angles as it were showed new battles. I guess that we should move location not necessarily to Denmark. Denmark, of course, declared war on us. Um, but I'm thinking we might get new battle maps, maybe, if we move and see what we can do against the Serbians. Or something like that. At least we get a new color on the enemy. Um, but other than that, the limitations of the mod, in terms of the fact that it's crashing, I mean, it's great mod. It's really cool. And, I mean, I really like the last one we did when it was in the 1870s, roughly. But, uh, so far, we've had... I've had so many crashes and so many problems recording this that I don't know for how much longer I could pursue trying to find new and interesting ways of showing the mod when it keeps crashing like this. We, it might be better to hold off on this and wait for... Uh, an update of some sort to resolve some of the issues similar to what happened last time because we had quite a few crashes there as well but then there was an update that kind of fixed that especially for the sieges um, anyways unfortunately there's not going to be a battle here uh, so I think um, given the time of the episode we're going to end it right here unfortunately for the next one, uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'll do, but I'll try to figure out something interesting that I can show you. Uh, we might go ahead and continue just to punish the Dutch, just because they've caused me so much problem. I was able to figure out a way which we can actually conquer towns. Could go ahead and conquer as much as possible. Lay siege to a town, that would be a new thing. And yes, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully also I'll be able to gain more of these uh, companions, pick up more peop random people of pars, 
and give them high positions within my empire. And yeah, we'll go from there. But for now, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.